Good evening and welcome to Staff Gymnasium on the campus of Brockton High School in the City of Champions for the BCA Sports presentation of Brockton Lady Boxers basketball tonight. The Lady Boxers coming in with a record of one win and eight losses. Welcome in the unbeaten Franklin Lady Panthers to Staff Gymnasium. My name is Peter Zimbor. I will have the call of this game. Starting five for the Brockton Lady Boxers tonight, number 11, Chanel Melton, number 12, Sharon Springsteed, number 23, Chantel Jordan, number 24, Deanna Abraham, and number 30, the freshman, Aliyah Brito. For the Franklin Lady Panthers, the two guards, number 14, Christy Kirsch, and number 22, Katie Phelan. The two forwards, number 34, Alicia Cutill, and number 42, Alicia Wild, and at center, number 33, Caitlin Capone. Franklin coming in here with a record of 12 wins, no losses. One of those 12 wins came against Brockton earlier this year. Brockton took on Franklin in Franklin January 5th. Final score of that game, Franklin was dominant over Brockton by a score of 65-35. to Head coach April Dingwell says they are a good shooting team. They're very good athletically, and they're undefeated for a reason. We'll see if the Brockton Lady Boxers can match up with them competitively tonight. You can already see the quickness in these Franklin players from the get-go, particularly in number 22, Katie Phelan. And traveling called on Franklin down low. Alicia Cutill walked. That will turn the ball over to Brockton. 7.43 remaining in the opening quarter. We're scoreless here at Brockton High School. Once again, Peter Zimbor here calling the action. Christian McDuffie with the ball for Brockton. McDuffie actually was not on the original starting lineup for tonight. But she is in the game. Look to see who... who I said was in the game instead of her. I think I called Deanna Abraham as a member of the starting lineup. She was listed as being a starter tonight, but it looks like McDuffie is in. Sharon Springsteen with the ball for Brockton. Gets it over to Chantel Jordan. She shoots from the top of the key. Kind of forced that shot. Brockton fighting for the rebound. Ultimately ends up in the hands of Franklin, but Brockton, Chanel Melton intercepts a pass and puts it up. No good. It's kept in bounds or was attempted to be kept in bounds by Leah Brito. She stepped on the line. It'll be Franklin ball. 7.05 remaining in the first quarter. Three-pointer by Katie Phelan, and Franklin draws first blood. They lead 3-0, 6.47 left to go in the opening quarter. Chantel Jordan with the ball for Brockton. She tried a three earlier for Brockton, missed, gets it over to Chanel Melton. Melton takes it inside the paint, tries to dish it over to Christian McDuffie. It goes out of bounds, Franklin ball. McDuffie with the rebound, puts it up and in. Brockton cuts the deficit to one. Three to two is your score. Franklin on top, 5.54 remaining in the opening quarter. Franklin trying to take it to the hole to no avail. Rebounded by Brockton's Christian McDuffie. McDuffie over to Chanel Melton. Melton in the corner to Jordan. Inside the perimeter, connects for two. Brockton has their first lead of the game, 4-3. Five minutes and 39 seconds left to go in the first. Three-point attempt by the Lady Panthers. No good. Brockton with the rebound. Chanel Melton with the ball for Brockton. Gets it over to Sharon Springsteed. Springsteed over to Melton. Melton outside the perimeter. Cross court to Jordan inside the perimeter. Short jumper. Connects. Chantel Jordan with her second jumper inside the perimeter. Brockton up by 3-6-3. 5-0-7 left to go in the opening quarter. This has got to be confidence building for Brockton. Momentum on their side right now. Missed shot by Franklin. Brockton comes with the ball at Chantel Jordan with the rebound. 
Jordan gets it over to Melton. Melton thought about shooting over to Jordan. Inside the perimeter again, six consecutive points for Chantel Jordan. All smiles for Miss Jordan on the court as her boxers lead 8-3 with 4.40 left to go in the first quarter. Nice defensive play by Aaliyah Brito. She says, what are you thinking passing inside the paint like that? Don't you see me in front of you? Brito trying to complete the offensive play, which began with her defensive play. She's fouled. She'll go to the line to shoot two. Brockton with momentum on their side early in this game. First of two at the free throw line for Brito. Off the rim, no good. It was off the back of the rim, bounced out. She makes her second of two, 9-3, Brockton up by six. Down low for Franklin, taken to the hole and landed up Alicia Cutill. 9-5 your score. Lady Boxer still with the lead. Under four minutes to go in the first quarter. Brockton leads 9-5. Single digits left on the shot clock. Ball goes out of bounds and it will be Brockton ball. Shot clock reset. And our official says to the official scorekeeper, uh, it should not have reset. So five seconds left on the shot clock. Good observation by our officials. Four seconds on the shot clock to Springsteen. No, I don't think she's aware. She's going to launch it. And that actually hits the top of the... That actually hits the shot clock. So technically doesn't hit backboard or rim. Shot clock violation. Nice rebound by Aaliyah Brito for Brockton. Gets it over to Chanel Melton. Melton dishes it over to Jordan. Jordan loses it to Christy Kershaw. And ultimately, I believe it's, I believe that was number 34, Alicia Cutil, who laid it up and in. So 9-7, your score. Brockton still with the lead, but a 4-0 run by Franklin. And as Chanel Melton tried the rebound for Brockton, it went out of bounds off of her. That should be Franklin ball, as far as I can tell. Maybe she never touched it. They'll say it's Brockton ball. First personal foul of the game called on Alicia Wild for Franklin. Actually, that's the second personal foul of the game, excuse me, Alicia. Aaliyah Brito went to the line earlier due to a Franklin foul. So two team fouls for Franklin, none for Brockton. 2.40 to go in the first quarter, 9-7 Brockton on top. You know what, let's make that 11-7. Who else scores but Chantel Jordan? Thank you. 
Taking it coast to coast for Franklin is number 22, Katie Phelan. So Brockton up by two now, 11-9, as Franklin cuts deficit ever so slightly. Leah Brito unable to accept the pass out of bounds. I think it's off Franklin. It'll be Brockton ball. Some substitutions as Catherine Lewis checks in for Brockton. Leah Brito takes a breather, and Dominique Coley takes a breather as Christian McDuffie comes back into the game. Janelle Melton gets the bucket and draws a foul. That is going to be called the number 23 for Franklin, Stephanie Pisani. Brockton leads 13-9 with 1 minute and 40 seconds to go in the first quarter. Down low, that's Phelan for Franklin. 13-11, you score Brockton with the lead, less than a minute to go in the first quarter. Sharon Springsteed bringing the ball up for the Lady Boxers. Count the bucket as number 21, Lauren Irvin, takes it to the hole for Franklin. That ties the game at 13. Or it should, and it does. A little delay getting that on the scoreboard. That was actually Katie Phelan, not Irvin. And Phelan draws the foul as well as makes the layup. So now with an opportunity for Franklin to retake the lead, which they have not had since their first bucket of the game, and they won't regain it back this time around. It goes in and out. However, now Lauren Irvin with the rebound. Or not Irvin, it's Taylor McHugh with the rebound. Or no, it is Irvin with the rebound. It goes up with it, and it's fouled. She'll be shooting two with an opportunity to retake the lead. 28.3 seconds left to go in the first quarter. And in and out. Irvin's second attempt. Once again, in and out. Rebound by Franklin. Shot clock and game clock the same. 18 seconds to go in the first quarter. Brockton with the steal. It's Christian McDuffie. 11 seconds on the clock. Brockton playing quick. Chanel Melton in the corner. And that is Carissa Pagan with the short jumper given Brockton the two-point lead, 15 to 13. And the first quarter comes to an end. And surprisingly, Brockton in control throughout much of the opening quarter. And they lead at quarter's end, 15 to 13. If you are head coach for the Brockton Lady Boxers, April Dingwell, you have to be very pleased with the exceptional play of your girls in the first quarter. Brockton with the lead 15 to 13 as we'll be entering the second quarter momentarily. As I mentioned, April Dingwell, head coach for the Brockton Lady Boxers. She's assisted by David Ray and Stephanie Savas. Franklin High School, the Lady Panthers, they are coached by John Layton. He is assisted by Fran Bositis, as well as Jesse Fenuel.
Tie game once again as Irvin hits the layup for Franklin down low. 15, 15, 7, 30 left to go in the first half. Three-point attempt by the Lady Panthers. No good. Irvin with the rebound. Goes up with it. She's going to draw a foul. She'll be heading to the free throw line. And she'll be shooting two. That's going to be called on Chanel Melton for the Lady Boxers. Franklin is able to retake their lead with their free throw efforts, 16-15. And that's, that's the way the school will remain. Shot doesn't go in anyways, but Lauren Irvin called for a free throw violation as she stepped over the line. 16-15 is your score. Travelin called on Franklin. Chantel joined the ball down low for Brockton. Misses coming back the other way. Franklin with the ball. Thank you. 
Melton inbounds it to the freshman Jennifer Caruso to begin the game. Less than 10 seconds to go on the shot clock. And Chanel Melton gets a shot off. She's having a fantastic game offensively as Brockton retakes the lead 17-16. 4.35 left to go in the half. Chantel Jordan almost has to try to miss tonight. Sarah Shaw retakes the lead for Franklin now, 18-17. Brockton coming back down the other way. Dominique Cooley with the ball. Tries to dish it over to Jennifer Caruso. Intercepted by Franklin. She almost goes out of bounds. Tries to keep it in bounds, but in the process gets it in the hands of Christian McDuffie for Brockton, and McDuffie gets called for traveling. So now Franklin will have the ball. Caruso with the ball for Brockton. Caruso dribbles into traffic. Franklin comes up with the ball. Time out, please. Time out. And with three minutes and 47 seconds left to go in the half, Franklin leads Brockton by a score of 18 to 17. And it's Franklin Panthers head coach John Layton that elects to call a timeout. You're watching Brockton Community Access Sports. Peter Zimbor here calling the action at courtside. Ten points on the evening for Chantel Jordan. Far and away the leading scorer for the Lady Boxers here in the first half of play. 3.47 to go in the half. Brockton doing very well thus far against an undefeated team in the Franklin Lady Panthers. If Brockton can maintain this level of competitiveness, it would be a huge, huge confidence booster as they head into their big three divisional game against the Durfee Hilltoppers this Friday night right here at Staff Gymnasium. That is blocked by Chantel Jordan, getting the job done offensively and defensively tonight.
Less than three minutes to go in the half. Franklin with the ball. Working the ball down low and off the glass and in ultimately for Franklin. It is number 22, Katie Phelan, 20 to 17. Panthers on top, they steal the ball, bringing the ball back down their end of the court. And that is number 34, Alicia Cutill, laying it up and in, giving the Panthers their biggest lead of the game with five points, 22 to 17. Ball out of bounds off course of Pagan's hands, and that will make it Franklin ball. Foul called on Franklin's number 42, Alicia Wild. And that allows Chanel Melton to head to the free throw line where she'll be shooting too. First of two connects, Sharon Springsteed into the game for Brockton as Chantel Jordan takes a breather and Aaliyah Brito into the game as Dominique Coley takes a rest. Buck 50 on the clock, Brockton trailing by four, 22 to 18. Chanel Melton is looking to cut the deficit to three, and it's now a one possession game as she makes her free throw shot, 22 to 19. Franklin with the lead. Christian McDuffie doing a good job of keeping the ball in bounds. She tried to throw it off of number 23 for Franklin, Stephanie Pisani, to have it go out of bounds. However, Pisani moved out of the way and the ball simply just sailed out of bounds. So, ball off Christian McDuffie and Franklin now with the ball. Final seconds of the first half winding down. And after a less than stellar first quarter for the Franklin Lady Panthers, they regain their composure in the second quarter. And as the half comes to a conclusion, they have the lead over Brockton 24 
to 19. You're watching BCA Sports. Peter Zimbro calling the action courtside. We're going to step aside for a quick breather. We'll have second half action and much more right after the break. And we're back at you here at Staff Gymnasium. Brockton High trailing the Franklin Lady Panthers by a score of 24 to 19 as we are about to enter the second half of play. Leading scorer of, for Brockton through the first half of play. No surprise here if you follow the action in the first half. It was number 23, Chantel Jordan. She has 10 points on the evening. Leading scorer on the floor tonight, however, comes to us from the Franklin Lady Panthers, Katie Phelan. So Brockton inbounds the ball to begin the second half. It is Chanel Melton with the ball. Gets it over to McDuffie. McDuffie to Springsteed. Back over to McDuffie. Shoots it inside the perimeter. Short jumper. No good. Springsteed with the rebound. Goes up. No good. Good defensive play by Franklin down low. But ultimately, a foul is going to be committed. That is going to be on number 33 for the Lady Panthers. Caitlin Capone and Aaliyah Brito will see her second free throw trip of the evening. And she misses her first free throw attempt this time around. Score remains the same, 24-19. Taking a look at the logo for the Franklin Lady Panthers on the roster in front of me. Looks very similar to that of the Carolina Panthers logo. Carolina Panthers in the National Football League as Aaliyah Brito makes it a four-point game by hitting her second free throw shot. 24-20 Franklin on top. I read earlier this afternoon that the Carolina Panthers redoing their logo ever so slightly. Team officials say they want the new team logo to look more aggressive than the Panthers logo of the past and it looks to me like they pretty much copied the Franklin Lady Panthers logo. It's a very similar looking panther. It's fangs out, growling and all. Carolina Panthers, of course, a team that the New England Patriots defeated in the Super Bowl years back. And the Patriots vying for their fourth Super Bowl championship as a team this Sunday as they take on the New York Giants, another team the Patriots have played in the Super Bowl in the past. However, the Patriots were, as we all remember too well, on the losing end of that game. Chantel Jordan gets called for a charge, and that'll turn the ball over to Franklin. Officials allowing some time for Chanel Melton to tie her shoelace. And she sheepishly gets up and runs down the opposite end of the court, smiling, smirking, saying, sorry guys, had a shoe that needed to be tied. Twenty-six twenty. Panthers on top. The Brockton Lady Boxers bench is chanting Lady Boxers with a rhythmic clap. And I'm noticing that the bench players are leading the cheer while the cheerleaders are doing nothing. Three pointer by Franklin's number thirty four, Alicia Q Till. Makes it a nine point game, twenty nine to twenty. And with a nine-point edge for Franklin and six minutes and 20 seconds left to go in the third quarter, head coach April Dingwell elects to call a timeout. Now the cheerleaders lead the chair.
Foul called on Alicia Wild for Franklin. This allows Christian McDuffie to head to the free throw line. 6-11 left in the third quarter. Foul called on the Panthers, Stephanie Pisani, number 23, which allows Brockton's number 23, Chantel Jordan, to head to the free throw line as Brockton trails by 8, 29 to 21, five minutes and 16 seconds left to go in the third quarter. And Jordan, the leading scorer for Brockton the first half of play, misses her first of two at the free throw line. Lauren Irvin checks into the game as number 33, Caitlin Capone, takes a breather. Coming up in the fourth quarter, you will have my Super Bowl prediction. So that's coming up for you in the fourth quarter of play. 5-13 left to go here in the third quarter. Brockton cutting the deficit to five points, 29-24. Franklin nearly loses the basketball. They regain possession. Three-pointer hit by Franklin. They now up 32-24. Under four minutes remaining in the third quarter. And we have a travel called on Chanel Melton. That turns the ball over. Thank <laughs> you. 
McDuffie for three for Brockton. She got it. 34-27, Brockton trailing. 3.15 left to go in the third period. Foul called on Jen Caruso for Brockton. Actually, I thought it was Jen Caruso. It is going to be called on Chantel Jordan, I believe. And this is going to allow number 34, Alicia Cutill, to head to the free throw line for the Lady Panthers. One fan blows an air horn right as she goes to shoot her basket. Not a large crowd on a Monday night here at Staff Gymnasium for this game against Franklin High. But <laughs> an interesting one to blow an air horn while the opposing team is trying to shoot free throw shots. See, in this crowd right here, it's so sparse that, it, you know, if you blow that air horn, everyone's going to know it was you around you. You can't hide from it. Let's see if we get another air horn action. And we did not get air horn action. We get a 38-27 lead now for Franklin, however. 2.32 remaining in the third quarter. Brockton down by 11. Sharon Springsteed for Brockton, making it a nine-point game. Brockton has superseded expectations coming into this game, but they're still down. That's not to say they can't reclaim the lead that they did have in this game early on in the first half. They played very well in the opening half of this game. And they're not playing particularly bad right now. It's just that Franklin playing slightly better. About nine points better, McDuffie puts it up, no good, gets a rebound, puts it up, no good. Ultimately coming down with the ball is Franklin. That's Q-Till. It's 20 seconds left to go in the third quarter.
Chantel Jordan hits her free throw shot. Eight point game. 3.7 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Jordan trying to make it a seven point game. Heading into the fourth. And she'll do just that. From half court, Franklin launches it, but to no avail. So the third quarter comes to a conclusion, and Franklin has a seven-point lead. 38 to 31 is your score. Seven minutes of basketball left to be played. Or eight minutes of basketball left to be played. I shaved a minute off my assessment. I have no idea why I did that. I think it's the whole seven point lead, eight minutes to go. That's what I meant to say. Former athletic director Tom Kenny making the rounds here at Staff Gymnasium. Friendly fellow saying hold, hello to everybody courtside. Had an excellent tenure as athletic director here at Brockton High School and still lets its presence be felt. Traveling called on Franklin. Brockton ball. Fourth quarter action between Brockton and Franklin. Carissa Pagan with the ball for the Lady Boxers. Gets it over to Chanel Melton. Pagan with the short shot. No good. Rebounded by McDuffie. McDuffie dishes it outside. Melton down low off the glass and in. Five point game. 38-33 Brockton trails, 7.35 left to go. Q Till down low for Franklin, upping the lead back to seven points, 40 to 33. That's a charge! Oh, come on, guys! Nice block by Franklin. And they fight for the ball on the floor. Jump ball is called. Three-pointer by Sarah Shaw for Franklin. Ten-point lead for the Panthers, 43-33. McDuffie goes to lay it in for Brockton, gets a rebound off the glass in an eight-point game. Head coach John Lighton for Franklin, giving an earful to the referee that he wants a charge called on Brockton for the past few times they've come down the floor. And we're going to see a lot of substitutions on 
the part of Franklin High as Katie Phelan comes back into the game. We're also seeing Annie Karak, Karak for the first time tonight. And a few others who we'll get to as their names are called during the course of play. Ball goes out of bounds off Franklin. It'll be Brockton Ball. So a foul called on Franklin's number 14, Christy Kershew. This allows Chanel Melton ahead of the free throw line to shoot two for Brockton. Brockton trailing by 10, 45 to 35 with five minutes and 18 seconds left to go. Melton shooting two at the line and she misses her first of two. Foul called on Dominique Coley for Brockton. Q2 at the line shooting two. First of two is good. That gives Franklin back their double digit 10 point lead, 46 36. Four minutes and 53 seconds left to go in the game. She makes her second free throw as well. 47-36, Franklin. Katie Phelan doing some damage for Franklin. 49-36 Panthers on top. Chanel, Chantel Jordan takes it to the hole. She'll draw a foul. She'll go to the free throw line. And with that, the boxers are in the bonus. That is the seventh team foul in the half committed by Franklin. So Brockton is going to get a lot of free throw opportunities from here on out. And on the flip side, Franklin very close to getting a lot of free throw opportunities from the, here on out. Brockton 16 fouls tonight, Franklin 7. Hey. Timeout called by head coach April Dingwell for Brockton. 49 to 37, 12 point game. Franklin Lady Panthers on top over the Brockton Lady Boxers. Four minutes and 17 seconds left to go. Fourth quarter, timeout. It's time for my Super Bowl prediction. 
New England Patriots this Sunday taking on the New York Giants in Indianapolis, Super Bowl. And I predict Patriots by three. Yes, Patriots by three this Sunday against the New York Giants. That is my official Super Bowl prediction. Twelve-point game, fifty to thirty-eight. Help side, in Panthers. The paint. Help side, in the paint. More, more, more. Four minutes remaining in the game. Good, Andy. Good, Andy. Feet. Good. Help side the paint. Yep. Right hand, right hand, right hand. Good. Easy, easy. Jump ball called as Dominique Coley tries to wrestle the ball away from Alicia Wild. And possession arrow is going to possession arrow points in favor of Brock. And there was a slight hold up on the floor for a moment as the shot clock had to be reset to five seconds. So Brock did not much time to work with. McDuffie puts it up off the backboard. That resets the shot clock. Coley got the rebound. She puts it up. And Franklin comes down with it. And at the opposite end of the floor, it's number 14, Christy Kershaw putting it in for a two 14 point game, 52 to 38. Lady Panthers, three minutes and 22 seconds left to go.
And Jen Caruso takes a bit of a spill. Less than a minute to go in the game, 56 to 38. Lady Panthers on top. Brito off the board and in for Brockton. 16-point game, 56-40. Franklin on top, 50 seconds remaining. Well, in this game, Brockton, they didn't play poorly. Brockton actually played well in this game, and they certainly played excellent in spurts. They just didn't have the consistency to keep up with Franklin. Brockton finished off an excellent first quarter with the lead, 15-13, and they led by more than two in the first quarter, I'll tell you that. First half came to a conclusion. Franklin was leading 24-19. They had the lead 38-31 at the end of the third quarter. And their lead has just gotten bigger and bigger and bigger since then. And right now they lead by a score of 56-40 with 28.5 seconds left to go in the game. Brockton not going to lose by the 28-point margin. They lost to Franklin by earlier this month. However, I don't think the final score of this game is going to reflect how well Brockton played in this game at points, particularly in the first quarter. Nineteen seconds to go, and Franklin very wisely says, we're not going to go to the basket. We're just going to dribble, pass, kill the clock, take our 50-minute ride home, and be happy with the win. <laughs> 42, Alicia Wild hits a three. I think it was a three. It was a three. And like that, a 19-point lead and a 19-point win for the Franklin Lady Panthers. Your final score, Franklin 59, Brockton 40. Like I said, Brockton competitive in spurts, but ultimately it looks like a dominant win on paper for Franklin, but doesn't reflect what happened at points during this game. Your final score from Staff Gymnasium, the Franklin Lady Panthers 59, the Brockton Lady Boxers 40. For everyone here at Brockton Community Access, I'm Peter Zimbor. We'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us.